let's just jump right in. First, I'm going to start priming my lid with NYX HD High Definition Eyeshadow Base. I'm starting with my eyes first, and then we'll move on to foundation. So just blend that out with your fingers. Then I'm going to take this really light baby pink shadow, and I'm going to place this all over my eyelid. Then I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and these two colors from the 28 Neutral Palette and begin focusing this color on the outer corner of my eye. With the same brush, I'm just going to go in with a shade a little bit darker and focus that color in the same exact area. I'm trying to build color, so just be patient with this part. Then with the very tip of our brush, I'm going to go in with this dark brown color and place this color right into our crease. I'm going to place it a little bit on the outer V as well. Then with just a flat brush, I'm going to take the color Booty Call from the Naked 2 palette and use this as my highlight. I love this color. It is, in my opinion, the best highlight color. Then with a black gel liner and an angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to begin drawing on my eyeliner. And the reason I am using a gel liner is because I'm going to be smudging this color out and it's just a lot easier to work with than a liquid is. Also I'm not taking this all the way over, I'm taking it about a third of the way over, leaving the corner of my eye open. Then with just a matte black shadow, I'm going to begin smudging out that wing that we created. Then with just a small brush and a light concealer, I'm going to clean up the edge of our wing and this will act as our guide later on in the tutorial. Okay, on to foundation. I'm going to be using, of course, my L'Oreal True Match in Sun Beige. And I'm just going to dot this all over my face. And then with my flat top Kabuki from Sigma, I'm just going to blend it all out. I know that it looks like this foundation is really dark, but I do not tan my face, so this foundation matches me and my skin tone perfectly. <laughs> so then I'm just going to take a concealer. This is L'Oreal True Match as well. I have no idea where it is, so I couldn't film it and show you what it was, but I'm just going to work in a triangle motion and being very careful under the eye area and then patting with my ring finger and then to blend it out even more I'm going to take my F82 round top kabuki and then just blend all that out then I'm going to take sleek superior pressed powder and biscuit and pop this all over my face and then I'm going to contour just a little bit Then with Wet n Wild's Heather Silk, I'm just going to pop this on my apples and then blend it back into my contour. Taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping, I'm just going to use my fan brush and highlight the tops of my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take a white eyeliner by Prestige and use this in my waterline. And then I'm going to flick it up and just follow the concealer line that we made earlier. Then with that same deep dark brown color that we used for our crease, I'm just going to take a small brush and follow it up, creating a wing on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then after that, I'm just going to darken it up so it's a little more intense. Next, I'm going to add false lashes. I'm going to be using these 120 Demi's. I'm not using lashes for length. I'm just using them to add a little bit of thickness to my lash line. Then with Rommel's Lash Accelerator, I'm going to do my lower lash line first. And then just my top lash line to blend in the falsies. Then I'm going to take my L'Oreal Color Rich Balm just for a little moisture on my lips. 
And then I'm just going to grab a concealer to mute them out. Love nude lips. Just kidding. Then I'm going to take Revlon's Prim Rose and Fuchsia Fever from Maybelline just because I want it to be a little more intense. So I'm just going to put on the Prim Rose and then the Fuchsia Fever over top. The reason I put Prim Rose underneath is because I didn't want the Fuchsia to be so intense. So you can leave your look like this if you like, but I'm going to add a little bit of lip gloss because my boyfriend really doesn't mind. And I'm going to be using NARS Angelica. And because I want my makeup to last all night, I'm going to set it with my Scandinavia setting spray. So that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!